Hey, what's going on? It's Dr. Gonswell Boogie here once again. And in this video, I just wanted to go through and show my entire horror VHS collection. And my horror VHS collection consists of my first two rows in my VHS shelf. And this row is actually double layered. And I also have some Universal Monster tapes, which I'll show real quickly at the end of this video just because I already did a video where I went through all those so I'm not going to go real in depth into those ones but I figured I would just show all of my horror VHS's because I think they're all really cool and I've been wanting to do a video where I get to talk about them so first off here I'm going to start off with the top row which I have Night of Living Dead from George A. Romero really nice. I like this copy. The cover I just think is really cool. Very cartoony, but for some reason I like it. Then we have Dawn of the Dead. I have a couple copies of Dawn of the Dead. This one is really cool though. This is from HBO Video. Just a really nice, solid tape right here. And then this is an Anchor Bay release of Dawn of the Dead. I also have a couple copies of Day of the Dead. I really like this one. This is a media tape. Another copy of Day of the Dead. And then I got this really cool two tape set of Night of Living Dead. It's a really nice tape, but it's just damaged. Um, the cardboard itself has water damage, and one of the tapes is broken, as you can see. But I still like this tape anyways, just because it's expensive and it's hard to find. This actually has some interviews with like John Landis and a couple other people on it on the second tape. And then I also have a two tape set of Nightmare on Elm Street, which this is one of my favorite tapes. I just really like it for some reason. Really nice um, fold out right there. And I like uh, two tape sets like this. And I have Suspiria, which is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. There's a nice copy of it on VHS too. Then I have a bunch of copies of Evil Dead. I'm just gonna go through these real quick. Since I recently also did a Evil Dead collection video and I went through these a little bit more in that. But I have a, a lot of different copies of the first Evil Dead film, just all with different covers three of them, and then Evil Dead 2, this is probably my favorite copy I have of Evil Dead, this is an older, I think maybe an 80s, like an 80's tape of Evil Dead, just really nice, and this is the limited edition copy of Evil Dead, what's cool, numbered and this is the limited edition of Army of Darkness the director's cut which I actually just watched for the first time recently I just watched the director's cut thought it was pretty interesting and Phenomena from Dario Argeno it's a nice anchor bay tape of this And then I have this movie called The Devils, which I've never seen yet, but this is um, some sort of like demon possession type movie. It's got like a gothic setting to it. I know Oliver Reed is in this, so I've always wanted to check this out, and I heard this is a really crazy, like intense movie. It tried to like break a lot of rules, stuff like that, so I always wanted to check this one out. And then last up here for horror movies is a big boxed 
giallo I have called the Slasher, which this is a really nice big box tape. It's the only big box horror film I have on tape right now. I hope to someday get more because I just I just think these look really nice, you know. But I've actually never seen this either, but one of these days I'm definitely going to check this out. Next time I'm having a giallo marathon or an Italian horror marathon. Alright, so next up here I'm just going to go through this second shelf here and this is the rest of my horror tapes and I'll go through the front because this is a double layered shelf. I have more horror movies behind. So I'm going to try to go through these ones quick. But I'm going to go through each row. First off, I'll just go through these ones that are sitting on top here. I got the Howling 4. It's a nice looking tape. And the Halloween 3. And this nice, like, clamshell case, which I always think is nice. Then here I have some hammer tapes, The Horror of Dracula, another copy of that, why not, and then this is Brides of Dracula, the first sequel to Hammer's Dracula from the Hammer Studios. Dracula has risen from the grave. This awesome cover art on all these hammer tapes. Taste the Blood of Dracula, which is one of my favorite titles for one of the Hammer movies. Just, just classic. Taste the Blood of Dracula. Dracula AD 1972, and this one's not even open, still sealed. Warner Brothers tape. Very nice. And this is just a cheap copy of the Satanic Rites of Dracula. And this one is just the Rites of Dracula. The title for this one. Then I have the Friday 13th series this is the first one. Part 2. I love the Friday 13th movies and I love all these tapes because I used to rent them when I was a little kid at the video store and when I got older too and I just always really loved the way these tapes look. Friday 13th Part 4, the final chapter. This is actually my favorite one in the series. I just love to watch this one. Part 5, which I think is an underrated sequel. I think it's almost just as good as the first four and a lot of people give it a lot of uh, crap because it has a copycat Jason in it but I just um, either way I just think it's a good installment in the Friday 13 series I like the box art on this but mine is a little damaged so I'll have to try to pick up a better copy of this one of these days Friday 13 part 6 Jason Lives. Really like the way this tape looks with the blue and red and everything. Just a nice looking tape. Part 7, The New Blood. Also think this is a nice looking tape. And I love the movie posters on these. That's why I'm really glad the VHS is actually use the movie posters as the covers because the movie posters are just so good and this is probably my favorite Friday 13th movie poster I just for some reason I just always liked this one and this was the first Friday 13th film I ever rented and watched and I think it it's because the cover you know I just think it's a really appealing cover for some reason very cool and sinister at the same time Right, and then I have this cool copy of Halloween from Media. This is an older tape. Have it in this little plastic folder thing. Keep it nice and safe. Halloween 3. El 
Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. This is a really funny and cool movie. I would recommend this if you've uh, never seen this. And Elvira is just awesome. An American Werewolf in London, which is one of my all-time favorite movies of all time. I just love this movie. Directed by John Landis. The Return of the Living Dead. It's a really nice looking tape. An awesome movie. One of my favorite zombie movies ever. It's just one of the best. And then Phantasm 4. And I actually have the first three on DVD, so I was really happy and I felt lucky to find this one on tape because now I have the whole series, the first the first four to watch now. I know there's a newer one coming out, so that that's you know, that's interesting. Alright, and then last here for this shelf is just the back row of horror tapes. And I have White Zombie. Freaks, which is a really cool movie. Directed by Todd Browning. He also directed the uh, Bella Gosi Dracula movie. King Kong, the classic. That's all I need to say about this one. Just one of the most classic movies of all time. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. This is actually not the silent one, but this is a remake from RKO Pictures from the from 1939. I've actually never seen this, but I've always been interested in checking it out. Thirteen Ghost, really nice looking tape here. This cheap two pack of Psycho two and three, which right now this is the only way I own Psycho three. So if I ever want to watch the first three Psycho movies, I'll have to check and make sure this tape works because a lot of time these cheap two packs like this from Good Times don't even work too good after a while. Attack of the 50 Foot Woman. Cool key videotape. These just look really nice. Nice old 80s tapes here. Also a key videotape. Cat's Eye. Stephen King movie. Really good too. I, I just think this is a fun movie. The Exorcist. Exorcist 2, which is a horrible sequel, but I still like to watch it every once in a while. Prom Night with Jamie Lee Curtis. Still never seen this one, but I plan on actually watching this really soon. I just picked it up on DVD. Manhunter, which is, this is my favorite out of all the Hannibal Lecter films. And I just think this is a really awesome, awesome movie. Frozen Terror, which is a an Italian giallo. This actually was directed by Lamberto Baba, and it also goes under the name Macabre. And I know I got it on DVD. I actually got it right here. Here on a two pack with another Lombardo Baba movie, A Blade in the Dark. This is a pretty rare tape. I, one time I found a copy of it going on eBay and it was going for like, I think around like 40, 50 bucks. I found this at just like a really weird shop around where my school was for like 25, 50 cents. So I was really glad to pick this one up. And Chud which I actually don't have this on DVD right now so this is the only way I can watch Chud but eventually I'm gonna pick pick that up again on DVD Creepshow 2 really awesome I almost like this just as much as the first Creepshow for some reason got some of the Tex Chainsaw Massacre films Tex Chainsaw Massacre the first one Nice copy here. I'm missing the second one, which is a shame. And then Tex Chainsaw Massacre 3, Leatherface. 
in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation. Which is okay. This movie gets a lot of hate, and, you know, I still have, I have fun watching this movie every once in a while. And last here for this shelf, I have an episode of Freddy's Nightmares, which is really cool. I haven't watched this yet, but I'm really looking forward to checking this out one of these days. And then a couple episodes of Tales from the Crypt on tape. Which I don't think I have these on DVD, because I only have season one on DVD right now. So this is pretty cool. Nice looking tape here. Alright, so really quickly I'm just going to switch the camera onto my Universal Monster tape collection. I'm just going to go through that really quickly. Alright, and these are the Universal Monster tapes, which I'm just going to go through really quickly. Because like I said before, I've already done a video recently where I talked about all these tapes. So I just, you know, I don't want to repeat myself too many times. But I got this really cool Dracula tape. I just think it's really nice. Frankenstein in the same edition. And then Creature from the Black Lagoon. A cool, like, older tape of Creature. I just really like the way this one looks. And then the rest of these are actually my Universal... MCA Classic Monster Collection editions, and these all follow a like a uniform artwork where they had the little banner in the cover, and just everything about these just they look really nice when they're next to each other. I'm not going to go through each one, but I have Dracula. Well, I'm not going to show each one, but I will say which ones I have. I have Dracula, Frankenstein, Son of Frankenstein. The Ghost of Frankenstein, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, House of Frankenstein, and House of Dracula, The Mummy, Island of Lost Souls, which is one of the ones that's kind of harder to come by, The Raven, Werewolf of London, The Wolfman, The Phantom of the Opera, Evan Costello meets Frankenstein, one of my favorites. Abba Costello meets the killer, Boris Karloff. Abba Costello meets the invisible man. And then Abba Costello go to Mars. And then one of Universal science fiction movies, Tarantula. So I'm still collecting a lot of these. I want to get all the Universal Monster ones, all of the Abba Costello ones, and all of the science fiction 50 sci fi ones they put out too. So, hopefully this collection will grow one of these days, but that was my entire horror VHS collection. I hope you guys liked the video, and I actually plan on doing a video where I show my entire horror DVD collection. It's going to be probably like a big multi-part episode, maybe like four or five parts long. So I'm going to try to start filming that soon and post that throughout September and maybe the beginning of October. So I hope you guys liked the video, and of course, leave a comment or give it a thumbs up if you did. And thanks for watching.